What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Rashawn Bobby White RB Dubs back with my second video of this week. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. This topic that I'm doing today was not the original topic that I was going to do for this video, but I feel like this uh, topic has garnered a, a lot of interest not only for me, but from the students here at my school as well. And I feel like it's an interesting one to discuss. Before we get into that, I just want to start off by saying rest in peace to filmmaker John Singleton. Um, for those guys you don't know, uh, John Singleton uh, is a you know very famous filmmaker, and he did films such as his most famous one is Boys in the Hood, but he also did Poetic Justice. He did Higher Learning, which also featured Ice Cube, just like um, Boys in the Hood, and he also did one of the Fast and Furious movies, which I didn't know. Which, and it is actually one of my favorite Fast and Furious movies, which is Too Fast, Too Furious. He did that one as well. So I just want to say RIP to rest in peace to him. And I've seen a lot. I've seen all those movies I just named I've seen. So, and they, all, they were all really good. So we lost a great one. I just want to say rest in peace to him. Today's video, we'll be talking about two things. So for the Union College students today, we found out the artists who will be performing at our Springfest concert on Saturday, May 4th. And we have, what's different this year is that we have a, a, a lineup of four instead of three. The lineup is first the Blue Light Bandits. I've heard they're, you know, they're a whole band from Massachusetts and, you know, they do a lot of, of covers. So they sing a lot of, uh, you know, you know, other artists' music. And next up we have Ka Lo, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And um, you know, her music is sort of like this techno music, or at least that's the vibe I get from listening to it. Um, she got her fame from, you know, uploading demos on SoundCloud. And she's a, I, I'm not a fan of her music, but we will continue. We have Futuristic, and Futuristic is one I am familiar with. Um, I'm familiar with his album, The Rise, that released back in 2015. And, you know, I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of his music, so that should be a good one. And then rounding out the lineup, we have Charlie XCX. And we all know her. All, a majority of people know her from her feature with Iggy Azalea on her song, Fancy. But she's also come out with her own music. And uh, I, I can say that I do. I like some of her, her songs. I listen to some of her I never listened to any of the songs she did as an individual, and I listened to some of them today, and they weren't too bad. So I wanted to state my own opinion on this lineup. From talking to other people, I've learned that a lot of people think very negatively about it. And you know, from the, for those who don't go, you know, obviously don't go or aren't a student at this school, we have this concert every year, and you know, we have artists come and perform for us here. And it's a big thing here at Union, and you know a lot of people look forward to it. Even like outside of the concert, people have a lot of fun with friends, and usually friends come up and visit. Um, you know, friends that have graduated come up and visit current students, stuff like that. It's usually a pretty fun time. The trash was the word that was most frequently used from the people I've, you know, assessed, um, asking them what they think of the lineup, and you know, this is the opinion that I expected, because. I personally feel like people are, you know, very, they hone in on the fact that the lineup is, doesn't consist of an artist that they're, that they like. Once it, it doesn't consist of an artist that they like and an artist that they don't even know, they, they think very negatively of it. And that's the trend I seem to find. And, you know, I don't think that that's fair, really, but, um, you know, a lot of people on one side, a lot of people have their reasons for right, thinking negatively of uh, the Springfest concert. And as you know, they feel that the biggest reason is they feel like Union has the capability, meaning that they have the money to get someone who is more well-known than the artists we typically get for these Springfest concerts. Then on the other side, which usually consists of the people who put together these concerts, and let me just say that I wanna, you know, thank those who put together these concerts because they put in the hard, a lot of hard work to put together these concerts and there's months of planning and meetings and stuff like that. I'm not a part of it, unfortunately, but I know that it does take a lot of planning for to put this concert together. And, you know, on the side of that, the other side says 
that you know they try to get artists that can appeal to all members of the student body and you know my opinion is like I feel like this lineup does that but the opinions of others is that if there are better people that we can get who can fulfill that same role or do that same job of appealing to the whole student body and that union has the money to be able to get those people presenting those two sides because if anyone knows me, I'm like the I'm the person who likes to present both sides. And my opinion is this. My opinion is that essentially when people have asked me what I think of the lineup, I think I think it's all right. You know, like I said, I've I've told you I'm not fans of who I am fans of. And I think it's all right, but and I I also think that it does the job. While it does not feature an artist that, you know, that I'm like very excited about, it does the job, it does do the job of appealing to you know, add the whole student body into a wide range of music tastes. But then again, but then again, I I also think as far as my knowledge goes that Union does have the capability to get someone who can do that role of appealing to everyone while also being a more well-known artist. And that's my opinion on that. And I want to know what you guys think uh, for the people who go to Union, what do you guys think of the Spring Fest lineup? Like I said, it's Charlie XCS, XCX, Kylo, Futuristic, and the Blue Light Bandits. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think of that lineup and what are your opinions on the Spring Fest concert? I still feel like it's gonna be a good time. I still feel like people are gonna enjoy themselves, but it's been always been a conversation of the picks that, you know, Union uh, chooses to bring to campus, especially considering that what um, what other colleges, what other people they get for their lineups. And that especially makes people more upset with the people that we get for our concert. So I just want to present that. Second part of this video is, so we have a new development on the Jane Joe case. And you know, if you guys want to learn more details about that, I did a video on that. So I'll be sure to put a card up so that you guys can you know, be able to click on that and you can go watch that and come back to this video. But the new development is that the, frater the fraternity that was involved, not involved, but they were, you know, they were a part, uh, played a role in the case because this is where the victim was met by the person who sexually assaulted her. And they are now being sued. The ongoing case was that the uh, Jane Doe was suing the school and you know members of the administration who are in charge of appealing to these sexual assault cases such as melissa kelly who is the title nine coordinator and you know now uh, uh td kai has uh, has been added to this defendant list or to the list of people that are being sued by jay doe td kai is known for spiking drinks to um, take advantage of female party goers. Now this is what the lawsuit that was presented to the college, this is what is said in the lawsuit. And you know, because of this is why TDK is now being sued. And you know, it just goes back to what I've always thought about TDK. I've always felt like they've played a role in, you know, like a lot of people have said like, oh, you know, since the sexual assault didn't happen, exactly at TD Kai that you can't really put them at fault for anything. But you know, they are known for, you know, creating environments that are unsafe. And you know, a party, you know, it's not, you get anything can happen at a party. But you know, they have, they're known for, you know, doing things that cross the line of just a normal party. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me. And that is now the reason why they're being sued by Jane Doe. Since Jane Doe came out, more girls have Come out as well saying that they have been sexually assaulted um, and that TD Kai has played a role in that which has also added to why Jane Doe is now suing um, you know TD Kai the organization and if that's happening then clearly you know clearly TD Kai is representative of a problem and you know that problem should be dealt with and you know we have to take that into consideration those you know those girls who are stepping up saying that TD Kai is playing a role 
and you know it is being taken into consideration and we will see how you know that uh, the suing of TKI we'll see how that falls out what do you guys think of um, sexual assault cases on in campus on union on well not union but on college campuses and have you heard of instances where you know sexual assault happens on campuses and of course the administration doesn't do it or handle it correctly what are your opinions on that do you think the fraternity should be at fault if the sexual assault didn't exactly happen at the fraternity do you think they should still you know place have some blame placed towards them even though that they didn't have um, the sexual assault actually happened at that fraternity so those are those questions that question is for the people who you know don't exactly go to union and you know let me know what you guys think and you know I'll definitely be sure to see you guys in the next video next week make sure to leave a comment you know let me know what you think about these two things drop a like on this video and because that helps the, the channel out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you're new, please. That really helps the channel out as well. Subscribing to the channel, you know, getting more viewership and my messages out to people definitely helps as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is your boy Rashawn Bowen White, RB Dubs.